I've been thinking about it and when I first bought Black Ops 6, the game was fun, the maps were decent, the game felt like it could be something that we could really get into, and a month has passed, and I can honestly say, I don't like the direction that Call of Duty is going in. The Omni movement, in my opinion, will be a failure, whether it has already been spoken about or time will tell, I, I, my opinion is it will be a failure because when you go back to the old Call of Duty games, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 3, those games, in my opinion, were the games that I grew up with in Call of Duty. I didn't play the old versions, you know, the 2011s or the 27, the 2007s. I just started off with Black Ops 4. I'm not a fan of the Omni movement because I don't believe it was necessary, it was needed, because now the game is changed from the old Call of Duty to something that is not Call of Duty. I'm going to say it again. It's changed from what used to be Call of Duty to something that is not Call of Duty now. And when I played Black Ops Cold War the other day, I actually was on my PS portal and with the PS5 Pro, I had such a good connection that I was able to get third place in free-for-all. On the first PlayStation 5 that I had, the very first launch one, my connection wasn't as, as stable. So for the connection to be so much better, right off the change of the console, that's impressive. Sony has been working on the PSVR 2 with the hand controller pads, with the D-pads, with the triggers, all that stuff. They have been working on hand tracking. You have eye tracking, and now they are rolling out with testing out hand tracking, which means that if everything goes as well as they hope for, then we no longer have to use those controllers. We can literally just incorporate our hands into video games. That is liberating because now when you pick something up, you literally pick something up with your hand. It's going to be way more immersive than holding those controllers. Those controllers are are, are, are awesome. You know, they, they have all the nice features. Dual sense. You can still get 3D audio in the in the uh, headset. Um, the dual sense in the headset. I mean, this is huge. So Sony has to consider if all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the VR sales start booming because of games, little games. They have to responsibly put work into new games for us. They cannot just release certain games and then just basically the London studios close down, so we can't do anything about that. They have to make room for more developers, more studios for VR games. Okay, so back to Call of Duty, Black Ops 6 in my opinion, I haven't played it for a day or two, when I was playing Black Ops Cold War, I felt like I was back home the way Call of Duty was meant to be played. This is why the developers that were the, the OGs of the days left the company, because they disagreed 
with the direction and plan that the new Call of Duty was going to be headed, especially with Microsoft, because Microsoft is known to raise up a project and then send it crashing to the ground. So now we have to anticipate the downfall of Call of Duty because whether whether you agree with me or not every time Microsoft grabs a hold of some kind of project it's not as successful as you expect it to be as a consumer it actually goes in the wrong direction the game the console the project heck even the Flight Simulator 2024 is supposedly running glitching. Now, I know the Series X is a powerful console. Don't don't tell me it's not a powerful console because even though it's only doing 30 FPS, that is because Microsoft is rushing the developers. They want these games out. They don't care about quality. All they care about is making some kind of money off of the product. Where Sony, on the other hand, I think they do take a little more time at times to make games. And some developers just care more than the console owners themselves. The console uh, CEOs, the business aspect, you know. We got handhelds coming out for the PlayStation 5, which is going to be a native handheld. Switch 2 is coming out, and Xbox is working on some kind of handheld. So that is something that we are going to invest in because we're living in a day and age where we like to stop playing either on the TV or the monitor, and we like to just chill out on the handheld so for it to be native is going to be interesting because I still think that it might not be able to achieve the results that everybody and a native console would be expected of because it's handheld it can only do so much it's limited it's like selling a 40 series 4000 series graphics card to be just as performable as on a desktop. I don't think those two go together. The power is not there. You can't even fit the 4000 series graphics card into a laptop. You see where I'm getting at? So the handheld natives probably going to be at a lower resolution, but yeah, they can achieve it. If they can achieve it on the Switch, then they can surely as hell achieve it on the PlayStation and the Xbox. Hopefully on the Xbox. Like, I'm going to uh, wish for it to be on Xbox because everything that we've been told on the Series X has been underperforming, and I know they have what it takes to make it powerful. They just are rushing the projects. That's real talk. Microsoft is a company when they buy out a studio a developer they want the product rushed they want it their way they don't want to wait they don't want it to cook they just want it to come out heated up in the oven that's what happens when you heat up food in the oven it still tastes okay but it's sloppy when you cook food in a ninja grill or an oven real oven you let it cook for a while the seasonings the flavor everything just blends in together it's so much better so black ops 6 in my opinion it's starting to wear off on me which i am so glad that i'm no longer attached to the skins i'm no longer attached to the bundle packs that is done there there is a hypnosis in the game from the music to how you feel when you buy something that is designed to make you feel like if you miss out on a season buying a bundle pack you're gonna miss out on the coolest stuff the coolest skins the coolest weapons in my opinion I am far past that point where I no longer have that feeling like I'm missing out the, the FOMO is gone no longer is it something that I feel like I have to buy. I saved a ton of money. I'm just talking about the replacer and the, the 
season battle pass alone, that's like $50 right there. We're not even counting all the regular skins in the game, which are $25, $20 to $25. Some are even $30. That is ludicrous. That is sheer selfish greed that a company would sell you a game and then their their bonus skins and the packs and everything would cost so much more than the game you buy. That is just a scam, a scheme. It is cash grab, not good, not good at all. And I am here on the YouTube to disapprove of anything that Activision throws at us because they don't fix the game. They don't care about the glitches in the game. They surely don't care about the skill-based matchmaking. And the hackers and the cheaters, how is it that they still, to this day, when it's obvious the whole community is calling them out and showing videos, they're still playing the game? Something is definitely not in the right proportion. Certain people in Activision need to resign, and this is why the OGs left the company. So what I am grateful for is the Black Ops 4. I could go back to that game. I'm grateful for the Cold War. I'm grateful for the Modern Warfare 2019. I'm grateful for the Modern Warfare 2. I'm grateful for the Modern Warfare 3. Those are the last games that actually gave us the last feel of Call of Duty. And even if they did, if they didn't, um, it already started in Modern Warfare 3 with the skins. Modern Warfare 2, uh, I would say, yeah, a little bit, but then Modern Warfare 3 is when it just went in the wrong direction. And woke activism is definitely to blame because it is not realistic. It is not the truth of what really goes on in humanism, okay? This is just people that literally think they have a say in their mutilation and they think they have a say in their hypocrisy and their deception. We see through all that. So what I'm going to say now is when it comes to Call of Duty, I feel more at home playing the OG old games than I do playing a new game. And I have to stick with the Warzone at this point because the Warzone is going to be the only Warzone for dance that we're going to get. Uh, let's see how that plays out because right now a lot of people are complaining about Warzone. I hope Area 99 is not broken because I still want to jump into that map. But they're saying it's 20 FPS, unacceptable. And this is the same thing that Microsoft accepts and excuses is these low frame rates the graphics look great not gonna lie the graphics look great but the frame rates they have to pick it up it's almost as if they're a cable company that hasn't updated their cable resolution services that's what Microsoft does they don't give you the frame rates that are needed in an FPS game do you really think, Microsoft, that we're going to be playing Call of Duty at 20, 30 FPS? We've been used to playing it on 60 FPS, and now we introduce to 120. We know your Series X console has what it takes to be able to work it. And you guys are not working on the hardware realistically. You are pushing out these games and not giving us what we paid for. We paid for a 60 FPS, 120 console. I know there is a lot of games that still play 60 FPS, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like an FPS game. It feels like you are submerged underwater and you're shooting. That's what it feels like. 30 FPS is like being underwater, swimming around and trying to shoot a gun or you know move around underwater. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't, 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 don't jump in the water and you know do anything that I'm literally saying that that's what 30 FPS is is being submerged underwater so now we are learning and understanding that Microsoft right now is a company that is showing its true colors and its true roots and the true colors and the true roots are even their cash cow game 
is not getting its fair share of uh, of award accepting game as it being better than all the other games. When the, when these streamers, when these high profile people from the company are saying that, yeah, they're going to be taking time off from work to grind this game. Grind what? Yes, it is the prestige. Yes, it is everything that we have in a Call of Duty, but it is not. I repeat, it is not Call of Duty. That's the sad truth. I hate to say this, but it's no longer Call of Duty. When you have these interactions, animations of, you know, the character puffing on a bong, which is ganja, reefer, marijuana, all those kind of things, that's promoting, now we know it's already legalized, so people are already smoking, but that's still promoting to the kids that it's okay, that it's cool, because then they show this sign, what is it, they, 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 they go like this, like, yeah, I'm cool because I'm smoking out of a green bong with a lizard, that's not Call of Duty, okay, or the unicorn, where you go to put the unicorn horn on the top of the muzzle of the gun and then it takes off and it goes around in a unicorn okay it's wild that they do that but it's not call of duty guys that's not what call of duty when you go to cold war black ops vandahar would would laugh he would laugh if that stuff was put into the game in cold war you had none of that stuff it was cold war when I played it again, it was gritty. The, the the lobbies are not bad at all. It's a fun game. Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 3. What more? You could go back to Black Ops 3 if you'd like, but that is, I think, going way, way past. I think that Black Ops 3 came out, I think it was like 2012? Was it 2011, 2012? I remember I bought the console. And I played Black Ops 3 for the very... That was my very first Call of Duty I played. And from the moment I put that game in, it was started off with the Zombies introduction. And I was never used to Call of Duty. So I stopped playing it because it was too frustrating to figure it out. I was in school. I was finishing up my education. All that kind of stuff. I was working. There was a lot of things that I was doing. I wasn't too preoccupied with Modern Warfare uh, Black Ops 3. Black Ops 4 came out, I was already achieved my goals, making money, you know, taking care of business, that kind of thing. Black Ops 4, in my opinion, is one of the best feelings of a Call of Duty when it first came out. My whole, my, my wife painted my whole room with the Black Ops logo, everything, everything. So, with that being said, Black Ops 4, to this day, every time I go back into that game, there's this nostalgia feeling that it just makes you feel like you're back in a utopia of something that you only thought Call of Duty was going to get better. And then when 2019 came out, it was better. Modern Warfare 2019 was a gritty mu multiplayer with the Warzone that just blew us all away. We were hooked. That feeling will never come back. That feeling will never come back. I could go back to my old live streams and look at all the times I enjoyed the gameplay. I enjoyed the gameplay. It was amazing. It was fun. Now, that will never come back, guys. You know that. That will never come back. So, my best advice to you guys is when it comes to Call of Duty, if you want the OG, real developers making the game, starting from Black Ops 4, that was one of Vondahar's favorite, and it is one of my favorites to this day. Of course, you stop playing it because you're so hooked on the next Call of Duty and you're thinking that you're missing out, but you're not. You're not missing out on these games anymore because Black Ops 6, in my opinion, is ruining. Will I play Black Ops 6? Yes, I will play it, but I am not interested in grinding that whole game out to the point where I can't enjoy the other games that I haven't even leveled up on yet. I have not leveled up all the way on 2019, Black Ops 4. Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Heck, I still have Vanguard, but I know Vanguard will probably <laughs> never be even, uh, the dust won't be even brushed off on that game. All right, guys, so this video is ending right now, but at the end of the day, 
I honestly have to say that Call of Duty, in my opinion right now, is not Call of Duty. Thank you very much. Comment on what you think about this video. Hit the thumbs up. Share the video. I'm asking everybody that is new to the channel, help me get to 3K subs by the end of the year. You guys are the best.